My name is Olivia Brown and I've just finished the first year of my PhD at Lancaster University. My research is focused around understanding what enables teams to work together effectively in extreme and difficult environments. Teams are a vital and ever-present part of our lives. In fact, most of the decisions that are taken by large companies and organisations tend to be made by teams, not individuals. Uh, this has resulted in a huge amount of research exploring the way in which business teams work together to produce better sales, more, in more innovative products and so on. However, the majority of this research has got little relevance when you consider the decision making of teams working in environments where decisions can have life or death consequences. For this reason, I'll be focusing my research on, ta on the two types of teams that operate in extreme conditions. Specifically, we'll be looking at the emergency services responding to major incidents and expedition groups trekking across harsh landscapes. Given the recent rise in terrorist incidents in the UK, exploring teamwork in the emergency services has arguably never been more important. My research will aim to collect data using training exercises with each of the blue light services. We will use a combination of qualitative and quantitative methods to explore uh, which aspects of teamwork are important in facilitating response. We're hoping that our findings will not only lead to academic papers, but will also form part of practitioner reports, thus providing an evaluation of the training exercises and suggestions for improvement. So the way we kind of see it is that teams responding to major incidents are formed rapidly and they often disband very quickly after the resolution of the incident. For that reason, we decided that expedition groups would provide an ideal opportunity to examine how teams are able to work together when they are placed in extreme conditions over a long period. Being on expedition can accentuate any individual differences and amplify interpersonal conflicts. Understanding how team cohesion is sustained in this setting may then have applications in the future for the experiences of security personnel or those involved in long distance space travel. By researching these two types of team, I'm hopeful that we can contribute to the literature of effective teamwork in extreme environments and also provide context-specific recommendations to practitioners going forward. If you'd like any more information, please visit our website www.cressresearch.ac.uk.